All right, so a bunch of new leaks have surfaced for Helldivers 2 following the mech update where we now have mechs in the game. There's a bunch of new weapons ranging from the teleporter pack. We've got a bunch of new armor. We've got an exploding crossbow. We've got a first look at the new laser pistol, which is coming in a few days. Um, we also get to take a look at some new boosters as well as some different colored mechs. All this will be in this video. So if you want to go to any specific part, just go to the timestamps and it will be labeled there. Uh, but what's up, guys? Willis here. We're back with another video. Before we even begin as well, uh, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Helldivers in this video. If this video reaches over 3000 likes, I will give away five copies. And yeah, I guess let's just jump into it. Now, the leak itself comes from this Korean website. And first of all, we're going to be starting off with the armor leaks. And then we're going to be moving into the stratagems and the weapons. Um, yeah, so we've got five new pieces of light armor. We've got this one here. We've got this cool looking green one. We've got this one here, the XO prototype. This one actually has a perk on it, the engineering kit. Uh, further reduces recall when crouching or prone by 30%. Increases the initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades. So that's a normal perk we've had before. Um, we've got this one here, the demolition specialist with the engineering kit as well. We've got the C67 Titan with engineering kit as well. Um, we've got 14 regular armor pieces. So this is the armor with 150 armor rating. Then we've got the BO01 Tactical. This is an old one. It's just like reskinned. We've got this one here. You'll notice these are a lot of the same armors. They've just been like sort of reskinned with different colors. So yeah, we're just going to scroll down here. We've got like a white one. The Enforcer with the Fortified Passive. Uh, this further reduces recall when crouching and provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. Uh, we've got this one here, the Enforcer with the medkit perk, gives you two extra stims and increases the stim duration by two seconds. But this one here, the Combat Medic, gives you two extra stims and two seconds of stim duration. Uh, we've got the Scout. Markers placed on the map will generate radar pings and obviously enemies can not detect you by a 30%. This is a normal perk as well. Uh, we've got this one here. We've got quite a lot to go through. We've got the clean, Clinician with the engineering kit. We've got Groundbreaker. This one's pretty cool. With engine. And now we have the regular armor with two electric conduit, um, I guess, perk on it. So the electrical conduit perk is it basically makes you immune to electricity. Now, it doesn't make you invincible, but it stops you from getting instantly killed. So if any of your friends have arc weapons, you might want to wear this armor. Or if you know any of your teammates are going to be dropping with arc weapons, you're going to need this. I'll show you a clip later in the video of someone basically standing in a Tesla and they don't even die. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, you will still take damage, but you can survive being like one shot. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, here's the clip right now. So this person here um actually stood in front of a, a tesla and you can see he doesn't die now it does take a lot of damage as you can see in the bottom but you won't die so this is still pretty amazing um as well i think if you're being shot at by your teammates with arc weapons you could probably survive um we've got five new pieces of heavy armor we've got the winter warrior the extra padding perk puts it up to 200 armor. Um, we've got the FS-00 Marksman with Fortified. We've got this one here with the little nuke symbol on it. We've got the Butcher. And my favorite out of all the armors, I think, is the FS-55 Devastator with the Fortified perk. This thing, it reminds me of like a bomb defusal guy and I love it. It, it looks so cool. We've got a bunch of new helmets here. So we're going to go over the video here cool looking new helmets they all look pretty unique and cool i don't know when these are going to come out but yeah there's just so many to go over individually so if you see any cool ones then yeah there's definitely a lot but we've got more so what else do we have we've got 12 new cloaks here we've got the beacon of mercy we've got the wings of valor 
We've got the Drape of Glory. We've got the Unblemished Allegiance. The Freedom's Tapestry. The Harbinger of True Equality. With the Justice for All. The Eagle Fury. The Agent of Oblivion. Uh, the Matriarch's Rex. Bot Slayer. Light of Eternal Liberty. And we've got 11 new main weapons. Now, some of these weapons are actually coming in a few days. Obviously, we had the trailer um, two days ago showing these new weapons. So, obviously, the Arc 12 Blitzer Shotgun is the um, Arc Shotgun. Be very careful with this. You've got the SG-8P Punisher Plasma. Uh, we've got the Exploding Crossbow with some gameplay, actually. I'll show you guys in a bit of that. The Eruptor Explosive sort of Marksman Rifle. We've got the Laz 16 Sickle. Um, we've got the SG-22 Breaker Nail sp uh, Spitter. We've got the SG-22 Breaker Bug Biter. And obviously, we've got the Sniper from before. We've got the Adjudicator. Um, we've got the Truth Whisperer from before. Uh, we've got the... And yeah, following up with more weapons, the Patriot. There's some gameplay here. I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. It's, it's nothing new. It's just like... Patriot gameplay. Uh, the silencer rifle. So this is actually the silenced um, gun. And I want to see how it sounds for the first time. Because I actually... So yeah, let's see how the suppressed uh, gun sounds. Got high hopes for this. Marking location. South. Okay. It is extremely quiet. Now, I don't know if this is just because... The audio for it hasn't been added properly, but I can still hear it shooting. But it sounds way too quiet. I don't know. You can't even hear it. But yeah, this gun would be extremely good if you're just trying to not pause attention. Pretty awesome. He's throwing the new grenade there as well. Now, I'm not actually sure what the new grenade does. If it just attracts the bugs or if it's like a flare. Oh, it explodes after it's like got a timed detonation. I see. But yeah, that's pretty cool, honestly. And coming up next here, we've got some AR-20L Justice gameplay. Got semi and auto mode. So it looks like you can actually fast fire this. That's pretty interesting. Oh, wow. It's like a full auto sniper rifle. That is very interesting. It doesn't seem that great, I'll be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be doing that much damage to the uh, the AT walkers. I mean, he is sort of like aiming for the legs. Cool, I guess. Anyway, moving on. So next up, we have some Adjudicator gameplay. Let's take a look at this. It's got a semi and a looks like a full auto mode. Now, I don't know if the, like, the scopes haven't been added in properly, but all of the scopes seem to look the same. Okay, it didn't seem to do much to the... Um... Okay. It doesn't seem that great, the fact that it took kind of that long to take that guy out. Moving on. All right, next up, we've got the SG-8P Punisher Plasma. This is a pump action uh, plasma shotgun. We did see some of this in the new trailer. This is actually coming in a few days. Um, but yeah, it, it's like a mixture between a grenade launcher and a shotgun. It fires these like these balls of like plasma. He did try and take out one of the factories, the fabricators. It didn't seem to do anything. He's like aiming it in the gap. So I don't think it can actually take out fabricators. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, pretty awesome. Now, most of the gameplay from the Arc 12, um, the Punisher Plasma, have been shown in the trailer. So I'll be sure to link those in the video description if you want to check those out. But next up, we have some new Breaker shotguns. Now, yeah, we've got the Breaker Nail Spitter and the Bug Biter. One has medium armor penetrating and one has light armor penetrating. It looks like two different variations of the breaker. Now, I don't know if they're just making these to, like, get people away from the normal breakers. But, yeah, pretty cool. Um, next, we've got some explosive weapons. The Eruptor. 
This is a explosive sniper rifle. So let's take a look at this. Okay. It looks like you have to reload after every shot. So the shot better be worth it, in my opinion. It's a bolt action exploding sniper rifle. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I want to kind of see like the gameplay shoot like bigger enemies, but unfortunately the, the gameplay they've given us is kind of bad because it doesn't really show off the guns properly, I guess. But yeah, I don't think that one's for me either. Now, the exploding crossbow. We got some Rambo out here. Let's take a look at the exploding crossbow. Let's take a look at this exploding crossbow. Okay. So many new weapons coming to the game. I'm honestly just excited they're adding this much content. Like, they could have just left the game the way it is and just not updated it. But the fact that they're just adding new stuff in frequently now shows that they kind of just want to build more about this game and it's just really awesome but yeah exploding crossbow obviously don't shoot it too close because you'll die next we've got the laz 16 sickle we've already seen a bunch of gameplay on that but i wanted to take a look at the gp 31 grenade pistol this is a pistol we haven't seen yet it's basically it looks like a grenade launcher pistol now if this is what i think it is you could probably destroy bug holes with this and you could also destroy fabricators with this. So there'd be no reason not to run this gun if it can actually do that. Yeah, let's take a look. The grenade pistol. Yeah. So it looks like you have one shot and then you have to reload. But the fact that you have eight is basically, it basically means you have eight extra grenades. Which is insanity to me. I'm definitely going to run this. Just from the pure fact, I'm pretty sure this will destroy bug holes and fabricators. Yeah, pretty awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite guns that they've, they're going to add. All right, so we've got the laser pistol. Um, this has obviously been shown off in a trailer, the Laz 7 dagger. I want to take a look at some actual gameplay though. So yeah, let's take a look here, see how decent it is. It does look like you have like a charge meter, like the normal energy weapons. But honestly, after seeing the grenade launcher pistol, the fact that I can have that as a secondary just makes me just only want to use that. But yeah, if you're a fan of these energy weapons, this is definitely going to be a, a really good sidearm weapon. You got to remember that this is just a sidearm. This isn't like your main weapon, so you can carry a primary with this. And yeah, it's not going to obviously be overpowered as hell, but still pretty cool. All right, we got some new grenades. So we've got the G23 stun grenade, which was shown off in the trailer. Basically a small EMS grenade. Um, we've got the G123 uh, thermite grenade, which burns on the ground. So yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. I think we did see it in a previous video I showed. Uh, I think it just it's just like burns the ground so anything that like sort of goes near it just burns I guess um, we've got some new boosters we've got this one here which is localization confusion which increases the time between enemy encounters pretty interesting um, we've got this one here called expert extraction pilot uh, which lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon this is going to be nice on hell dive difficulty where we have to wait like three bloody minutes. And then obviously we've got the Patriot mech, which is already in the game. We've got the Liberator robot, which is a different type of mech. Pretty cool. It's got some like yellow Lamborghini paint on it. We've got the Panzer APC tank, which we've already seen. And um, we've got some new supply stratagems, the Quasar cannon. The videos seem kind of broke, but yeah, it basically fires like a laser. We've got the heavy machine gun, which is a heavy machine gun, 75 rounds, and it has three firing speeds. We've got some new medical supplies stratagem, which drops off some medical supplies, I guess. Uh, we've got the small missile silo, which has been leaked before. What this basically does, it calls in this missile silo. And yeah, I think it gives you like a laser designator. 
and you can basically paint the target with the laser and then the missile i guess just flies towards that direction and just blows up the target so it's basically like a little portable airstrike you can call in i guess a bit quicker than like an eagle and i think you can have like a few of them up at a time as well so that's pretty cool but yeah it gives you like this laser pointer this guy just absolutely blew himself to pieces with it though Okay, this is pretty awesome. We've got a new grenade launcher, but it's an incendiary grenade launcher. This is going to be pretty awesome against bugs, I think. So it just basically fires that. This is going to absolutely destroy teammates. I can already tell. But yeah, it looks like it just fires down these like massive just pools of fire. Napalm grenade launcher. Awesome. We've got this new stinger icon. I'm not really sure what this is. And then we've got the displacer teleporter backpack. There's no actual gameplay of this yet. I'm pretty sure it's still being worked on. And the pe people who said that they found it when they try and use it, the game just crashes. We've got the commando um, rocket launcher. I did show this off a bit before. It's basically like this multi-missile um, sort of grenade launcher. Let me see if we can get some gameplay here of it actually in use and not the railgun. That would be awesome. But yeah, there you go. It's him basically just aiming it. I did show off this a bit before. But yeah, it's like this multi-missile barrage um, rocket launcher. So that could be interesting. We've got the trench wall. I've already shown off this. This is pretty much everywhere. It's a, a trench like barricaded thing you can just stand behind with like a big lmg i think there's a grenade launcher version of this as well there you go where you can have a grenade launcher on the wall which i actually think it makes it way better here's a really new cool one we've got an air-to-air -air missile um like i guess stratagem where it basically um seeks air-to-air -air missiles to eliminate uh most flying targets in the vicinity so like drop ships I think this would be good against, obviously, the automatons. We've got some new strafing runs here. Some new icons. We've got this, which is the Patriot Carpet Bomb. Let's take a look here. The Patriot Carpet Bomb. Wow. That drops a lot of bombs. That was a lot of bombs. Look at how many bombs are in the sky. That's pretty insane. Danger close. And then finishing up, we have the SEAF troop drop-off. Basically, this will drop you some ODSTs to fight alongside you. Um, once again, I don't think this is finished, just purely from the fact that when they get dropped off, they, they don't really do anything. They kind of just stand there. But yeah, having some extra troops to sort of draw the attention away or just fight alongside you is going to be super handy. But... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but I want to show you guys all the current leaks right now in Helldivers. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. Leave a comment, guys, for a chance to win a copy of Helldivers. As well, if this video reaches 3,000 likes, I'll give away five copies of the game in this video. Anyway, I'll see you in my next one. This has been Willis Gaming, and peace.